All right, guys, today we are going to be working on a power broom, a gas powered broom. It doesn't want to start. The primer ball has got a hole in it. Um, so I'm going to do uh, primer ball and fuel lines, and hopefully, it'll start up and run. This is a PB270. It's actually made like this. You know, it looks like a T270, but that's a trimmer 270. This is a power broom 270. Pretty cool, huh? It's actually the first gas powered broom I've ever seen. The parts I use for this will be in the description below. Just right down there, click the link, take you right to a link in Amazon, or take you right to a page in Amazon so you can buy them. Super cheap. I use them all the time, 50, 60 times a week. All right, first thing we're going to do is take this air filter cover off. Air filter. You got two Phillips head screws or bolts, Phillips head bolts actually, that need to come out. We're just going to go ahead and slide that right on over like that. Just leave that cable right in place. Don't even mess with that. Now you've got two Allens. I think they're four millimeter. Maybe they're five. I don't know. We're going to take those two Allens out. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the fuel lines. I'm just going to cut them because I'm going to just swap them out. So I'm just going to cut them off, get the carb out of the way. All right, we're going to take a flathead screwdriver and pry this up. Underneath like that and you just pry it up. I'm going to take a few times. It takes two hands. I'm going to need two hands to do this. Go ahead. Oh, look. There's the issue. That line is broken. So, the black line is the fuel filter line. We're going to leave the vent line alone. We don't have to mess with that. So... The return line's got this nipple. I don't even use those nipples. It's not even important. We'll get that right on out of there. So we're going to remove these two lines. Just like that. We don't need this nipple anymore. Don't even worry about that nipple. We're not even going to do that. All right, so first thing we'll do is the fuel filter line. So we'll cut this to a point. Just like that. And then we're going to stab it through the grommet. Pull it through about this far, cut the tip off, and then we're going to go ahead and stab the nip, uh, the fuel filter on the uh, line. We're going to take a quick guess of how long the line needs to be. I'm just going to cut it up here. It's going to be too long, but um, I can always, uh, you know, cut it shorter when I'm putting the carburetor on. Cut the uh, fuel line to a point again and stab it in the second hole. Pull it through just about an inch. That's your return line. We're going to leave it long so we know that that one does not have the fuel filter. The other one does have the fuel filter. Now we're going to go ahead, slide this fuel filter back in. Make sure you clean this tank completely out. No gas in it. It's completely dry. And then use fresh brand new gas when you're done putting this together. You don't want old bad gas in there messing up your carburetor. All right, so we're gonna take and push the back side of this grommet in, um, you know, into the back of it, and then we're gonna push it in the rest of the way with a flathead screwdriver, just pry it in there, it's tight fit. Okay, again, the long one is the return line, short one is the one with the filter where the filter is going to go here the return line is going to go here all right but before we do that let's go ahead and put a new primer on oh look this guy had been in this before and didn't get the primer in straight that was what his issue was we're going to go ahead and take this off 
four Phillips head screws, five Phillips head screws, and uh, replace that primer ball. I want you to see some. This is a Phillips head bolt. This is a Phillips head screw. So this top guy is going to be the Phillips head screw. The other four are going to be Phillips head bolts. Just the metal plate and the uh, primer ball. New primer ball in the metal plate. Put the uh, bolts in the plate back in. Make sure that the primer ball is centered before you tighten it down. Give it a little spin. You'll feel it in its groove. And then tighten it all down. Oh, it's all blurry. There we go. Tighten all four bolts up in a crisscross pattern. And once you get them all tightened all the way up, then tighten this one. All right. We're going to go ahead and bolt the carburetor back up. Remember, this is return, and this is fuel in to the, you know, goes to the fuel line with the filter on it. We're going to tighten, we're going to go ahead and tighten the carburetor on so we know how long to cut our lines. Make sure that there's a gasket on the back. There's a little hole, you can see partially covered up right there, but it's, it's, it, as long as you can see it. That's the vacuum line that runs the fuel pump that's built into the carburetor. It goes down here as well. Right there. That's a vacuum line. So make sure you got the gasket in between or it won't run. Bolt it back up. Uh, all right, so uh, the short line goes to this nipple. That's fuel in. Follow the extra fuel line, and then I'm going to stab it down on that black one. Just like that. Put some gas in it. I already have gas in it. I already tried that with it. And we're going to try priming it up. I hope it primes. It's not looking good, though. Oh no, it primed. Well, oh, the Allen's still on that. All right, let's see if we can get it to run. Let's hope it runs. Cross my fingers. Now, just a little inside. This hasn't been run in a long time. This has been sitting forever. So the diaphragms could be hard as a rock. I'll put in the description below a brand new carburetor. They're not that expensive either. Um, you're doing this whole thing. It isn't much more to just unscrew this top slide, that slide out. Put the you know new you know the slide back into the new carburetor and it, it, it's done. You know what I mean? Um, I have found that when they've sat for a long time, especially these old Shindawas, not so much with Ryobis, but sometimes even with them fresh brand new gas in it you prime it up you try to fire it it doesn't run set it aside for 24 hours you come back out that thing will run like a top it's just the uh, new gas has had time to loosen everything up you know and, and get everything soft again so sometimes it's that way but we're gonna see what happens let's fire it up like a champ all right then we're gonna go ahead and screw oh how did this guy come off oh it's cracked ah. all right that works all right whatever all right we're gonna screw this uh cover back on 
put the air filter in it. Then this cover and go back on top, screw down. Hey guys, I hope that helped you out. Um, I'm the only repair video on these I've looked on YouTube. So anything else that you need done to this, you're going to look at the T270s. It's, you know, everything you'll need will be on those. Except for like switching out like maybe this gearbox or something like that. But that's not even a big deal. It's just a couple of Allens and it slides right out. Um, I'll do another video of this thing in action because this is the first one I've ever actually held in my hands or seen. So I'm going to put this boy to action. This one will be for sale. Um, I'm going to put this boy in action and show you a video on that. All right, guys, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. All the parts will be in the description below. I'll even put the carburetor down there, everything you'll need to do this job. Um, today's t-shirt will be in the description as well. If you wanted me to do any advertising for you, message me. I'll be more than happy to. Peace.